Welcome to episode 23 of the LorraineCounty.com Business Insights Podcast. I'm your host, Ed Skimmon, and today we're talking with Rob Duncan, the Director of Community Development for Lorraine County. Join us as Rob talks about the holistic approach of the department in supporting local businesses and communities. Our conversation covers the four key areas of the department, stormwater management, planning and zoning, community housing, and economic development. Rob highlights various services provided to local businesses, such as business retention and expansion visits, connecting the state and regional economic development organizations, and access to resources like financial incentives and land information. I first met Rob three and a half years ago, just days after he started in Lorraine County. I was at the county building working on a website development project for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, just one of the many projects that the Lorraine County Community Development Department is involved with. As Rob points out in our conversation, there are many different entities, programs, projects, and people involved in community and economic development. The county plays a critical role in convening, coordinating, and supporting many of these efforts. Here is my conversation with Rob Duncan. Rob Duncan, I'm the Director of Community Development for Lorain County. Welcome, Rob. Thanks for joining us. Could you provide an overview of the Lorain County Community Development Department? Our department is broken up into four silos, stormwater, planning and zoning, community housing, like the CDBG and CHIP grants and low-income housing, and then economic development. Could you talk about the services that community development provides for local businesses and the benefits they receive? We like to do what we call BRNEs, business retention and expansion visits with local businesses. And often we find businesses are struggling, having issues, and they don't know where to turn. We want to be that connector to help them find those resources. We are the connector to Jobs Ohio, the state economic development organization, as well as Team NEO, which is the regional 14 county organization that we're a part of here in Lorraine County. We also work with Glide over at the community college. We work with Small Business Development Center. One Lorraine County is our county private sector organization that was newly created by the chamber. I know you've interviewed Mr. Longo and workforce development. We actually have people on our team that put data for him and, and work with his organization as well. So we just try to be a resource for all these businesses. Sometimes it's land. We have a site called Zoom Prospector where we keep all the sites in the county up to date or attempt to. There's a lot of them in Lorraine County. So when people are looking, we have that information available and that can be very detailed or very general depending on the owner and how they want to market them. I can think of a business in town recently that we were able to connect with Magnet, who was able to go in and give them some ideas to reorganize to be much more productive, as well as financial incentives. If people are expanding, sometimes there's money for building job creation, tax credits, if they're going to add so many jobs. There's just a lot of different resources out there. And again, that's the importance of us going out and meeting with the businesses and we have people on our team that are dedicated just to doing that. And, and then sometimes businesses are doing very well and we can just congratulate them and move on to the next one. Can you talk about some of the other parts of the department? Stormwater has become very big. It's all tied in, again, with economic development. We've been focusing on trying to develop some larger sites for future development. We help especially the townships with their zoning. If they have questions, we have people who have expertise in that. And then also lot splits and all those type of things are done up here in our department. As far as community housing, like the CHIP grant, where people get assistance for low to moderate income families who maybe need repairs on their houses and can't afford them. We have programs that we get money to help those families. Unfortunately, there's a lot more need than there is dollars as always, but we do our best to vet those out and make sure that people that have the real needs, that those needs are being met. Most of the cities and communities have their own economic development or community development departments. How do you work with them? Several of the cities have economic development directors, and we work very closely with them. One of the things I've done since I became the director here is we try on a quarterly basis to bring all the ED directors in the county together. We've done things such as bringing Director Mahalik from the Department of Development. We had the director of the U.S. EPA for the state of Ohio in. 
We've had people from Jobs Ohio and different places to speak to our group on resources that are available that can help us all. And it gives us a time to network as well. And there's many projects that we work in tandem with these other departments on. And as we work together, really, it's for the good of the county. Really, our group is more created for that type of service. For example, if a city's doing Enterprise Zone, they have to come through the county. We help with those things as well. That leads directly to my next question. Could you talk about the value the Community Development Department creates that accrues beyond just the businesses that you directly serve? How does the community, the county, residents benefit from the work that you do? We try to take a holistic approach on this. So it's always exciting if you announce Carvana's coming to town or Ford's expanding. Those kind of things are always exciting. But we also have to look at, do we have available housing in our county? And we're very fortunate to be a little more on the cutting edge here in Lorain County. And our department has worked a lot with TIFFs, tax incremental financing for projects. And a lot of people get confused with TIFFs because they think, oh, that's an additional tax. It's not. It's just taking future tax revenues and putting it in, into infrastructure so these projects can come forth. We're doing very well in the thousands of homes are being planned to be built in the county right now. But we also have to make sure that our low-income families are taken care of, that there's low-income housing, and we work with fair housing within our department to make sure that everyone is included. And we don't directly work with transportation. However, we have worked with some businesses to make sure that People who live in areas maybe who don't have vehicles or public transportation available to work out ways to get transportation into those areas to connect them with the jobs that are available out there. What is something people don't normally know about community development that you'd like them to know? I think most people, when they think of community development, generally think of the economic development end. And again, I go back to this because it's so important and I preach it to the team is we have to take the holistic approach. Even if you're developing land, there's utilities involved. People often don't think about that. And we're so blessed in Lorain County because we have a resource that most people don't have, and that's a little thing called Lake Erie, which can provide a lot of water. We're looking at the whole community and how we can lift the whole community up. How do you measure success at community development? What metrics do you use to know that you're accomplishing your objectives? At the end of the day, I guess it's tax dollars. It takes tax dollars to build roads, to have infrastructure, to provide for police and fire, et cetera. And we want to make sure that we have healthy businesses so those tax dollars are coming in to support the county. And there's many of the projects that we work on people never hear about either till they're announced or sometimes they don't happen. I don't think we can measure our success on necessarily what gets accomplished because my team works very hard every day to do whatever we can. And sometimes we win them, sometimes we don't. But at the end of the day, I think our county's fairly healthy and that's what we want to see. Going forward, what trends do you see in the county, in the business sector, in the government sector, and how do you see community development adapting to these changes? Yeah, there's been a lot of change overall in economic development. I've been working in with economic development, both in this role and my previous role for about 12 years now. As things evolve, especially with electric vehicles and all the changes that are coming in energy and everything, we've seen it from more working on smaller projects, which can happen quickly, to larger projects, which may take three, five, 10 years to get those projects accomplished. I think Lorain County has done a fantastic job. I know you've been involved with the strategic planning that's going on to actually have a plan for our development. We both have resources in the future to do what we need to do, but we also make sure that we're listening to the citizens of the county and we're keeping green space areas or more rural areas and make sure that our development is around those areas. We have the lake in the north, we have the farms in the south, and most people don't have all that we have here within our county. Let's switch over and talk a little bit about you. What's your background and what led you to this position? I started out in theology. I, took a job and I was working for the National Federation of Independent Business. And my job was to go into businesses every day and find out what are their pain points so our lobbyists could go and lobby for these small businesses. That developed my interest. Seeing the legislature work on those areas was sometimes encouraging. And then from that, I ended up running for the mayor of Norwalk. I was the mayor of Norwalk for eight years. It was a little unique there because I probably did more business visits than a lot of economic development directors do on a yearly basis as mayor. 
we had a fantastic economic development director when I started there, and, and she really taught me a lot about the process and the ropes. From that, at the end of my tenure of mayor, I had just really developed an interest, especially for the economic development end, as well as the community development. At that point, I started uh, pursuing my certification, and actually this year was certified as an economic development director for the state of Ohio. In the time you've been with community development, what are you most proud of accomplishing? When I came, the county was very siloed. There were economic development directors in each city, but there was no communication. There wasn't a lot of working together. I think one of the things I'm most proud of is now typically all of us in the county work together on projects and for the good of that community or the county overall. Going forward, what are your personal goals and what do you hope to still accomplish? With the changing landscape, we've been developing larger parcels of land for development. And those take a lot of time, but we've been working on getting infrastructure into some of these sites. Lorraine County has such a strong background from shipbuilding to the steel mills to the auto industry. And now the next things that are coming with Intel Landing and Licking County, and there's going to be a lot of suppliers that are going to need Lorraine County to be their home. And what I want to do is leave a legacy in that we help develop these lands so in the future, the land is really shovel-ready, and businesses can come in and make Lorraine their home and be very successful here. Outside of work, what are your hobbies and interests, and how do they help recharge you? I gave up most of my hobbies about 34 years ago when we started having children, and having 10 children, you pick up their hobbies, and you coach soccer, and you go to games, and go to piano recitals and dance recitals and all those things that you do. But I enjoy reading, and then I play piano. But mostly my family. Thanks, Rob, for your time and your insights. Sure. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the LorraineCounty.com Business Insights Podcast. We hope you found this conversation informative and that it provided some ideas that will help your business continue to grow. Please follow us on your favorite podcast platform to hear each episode where we shine a spotlight on local resources that will boost your business. And we want to hear from you. Email ed at LorraineCounty.com to share your feedback and topic ideas.